Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia, if this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, much requested video, more so here on Instagram than on YouTube, but I figure why not put it on a place where I can give you guys a link and give you guys all the resources. So, my fedoras, my hats. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I hang my hats, where I buy my hats, how I style my hats, why I bought hats. So this is gonna do a frequently asked question of all the things that you might need regarding my hats. So let's get into the video. Oh, so before we start, let's do a little round robin. So this hat, I'm actually going to link it before you. It is from Amazon, one of my favorite vendors from Amazon. Of course, you guys know the jewelry is um, by little old me, Fearless Jewelry. I'll put that in the description box. This lippy is the Milani in color Devotion. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. I'll also link that too because Amazon now sells it in like bulks of like two or three. So get it while getting is good because this formula is so good. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so fedoras. I got into fedoras about three or four years ago and it was just basically I was, we were out. I don't remember where vacation me and my husband were on and he bought a fedora at whatever store we were in. I was like, oh, that's cute. I want to buy one. So I went to buy a fedora. It was one of those one size fits all. And I realized that while it fit his head, it did not fit my head. And I tried it on. I got it to about right here. I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. But I couldn't get it because it wouldn't fit my head. And now I'm all over the mall trying to find a hat big enough to fit my head. And I didn't. And that was the first thing that's like, one size fits all clearly did not fit one size fits all so that's basically where i got into wearing fedoras came back home um saw that there are a lot of companies that have them in certain sizes um and just started buying all the things and so now here we are um three years later and i have a wall full of fedoras with no signs of stopping um so yeah just kind of really birthed out of curiosity i normally have never worn hats the only hat i really wore were like ball caps and that was to like tailgate or to go work out i've never really been a big hat person until i got into you know these i'm just like this really elevates and that's that's the thing that i really liked is that a fedora can legit elevate a simple look. Case in point, I have on a plain white tee. I have on a couple of jewelry, but imagine if I took this hat off. You see how just plain Jane I look? Do you guys see this? I just, I just look regular. Did that not just elevate my simple look? <laughs> so that's why I like and I like to collect and wear fedoras is because I think it can elevate a simple um look and you guys know that my style is very simple it's chic it's comfy and so to be able to throw a hat on to then change the whole outfit is definitely something that i like to do all the time okay so we got into why or how i got into wearing fedoras um where i shop for my fedoras so i basically shop anywhere they have one that are sizes um, a lot of my favorite places I like to shop at Amazon because like I said, there's one particular vendor that I shop that's really, really good. Um, I like to shop at H&M. H&M um, will have sizes that were small, medium, and larges. Um, Macy's sometimes have fedoras that have sizing. Um, I like to get some from Nordstrom Rack depending on what the price point looks like. Um, basically anywhere that I can find a fedora that has sizing. Um, most recently the one size have not worked for me. However, like a week or so ago, I was in target and they had a one size fits all, but it's adjustable and I'll pop up a picture of the black one. It's actually this one right here. And then this beige one right here. Let's see if I can't grab it. Yeah, here we go. So this is the black one that I got from, um, target that said one size fits all. But the reason why I like it is because if you look in here, it has this velcro thing and then you can adjust it to fit so when i wear it i just don't hook the velcro on it and it fits me perfectly so see how that is fits me perfectly so some uh, one size fits all companies are realizing that one size fits all definitely doesn't work and you have to have an adjustable factor inside your hat um, to be able for it to fit. So I got this one and then like I said the beige one I also got from Target. So if I'm like out normally if I'm out shopping I'm gonna at least check out the hat. So if I'm at 
I don't know, Zara or Urban Outfitters or wherever, um, even if I'm just like shopping online, I will check out the hat section. Um, and if it's a one size fits all and it's online, I just don't buy it. I, I don't really want to have to deal with having to try it on and it doesn't work and having to ship it back. But if I'm like physically in the store, so I was physically in Target when I saw those um, and it said adjustable, I tried it on. I was like, oh, it does fit. Let me grab it. So most of the time, one size fits all don't work. If I'm shopping online I don't get it um, but then if I'm in the store I'm always gonna check out their hat section and I always check out the men's and the women's hat sections like most of the time the men's have a bigger selection for fedoras I don't know why but I'll check out both sections to see which one um, has like the better selections all right so we've got why I started wearing fedoras and then where I shop um, how much so I can name how much every single one of these costs. My most cheapest one are definitely the ones that I get from Amazon. Like I said, they are, they're under 20 bucks, free Amazon Prime shipping. And so for, for this one, for a good, like to pay only $20 for this hat, this is such a good quality hat. I think a lot of people sometimes sleep on good quality when it comes from Amazon, especially if it's cheap. But like I said, this vendor, I've been buying from this vendor for a while is where I got and I'll pop up some pictures that I got from him or some other hats really really good so I love to shop Amazon and they always have like different color hats um the so that's probably the cheapest the most expensive hat that I purchased and I just recently purchased it this year and I'm not really sold on it like I've yet to wear it is the lack of color hat let me grab it for you and I'll show you why. All right, so this is the lack of color hat. Like I said, I got it. This was this was not really peer pressure, but influencing at its finest. I had seen a lot of people with it on. I follow the lack of color site or Instagram page and they always have these cute hats. And so I'm like, you know, I really want to invest in a hat because I just want to see what the difference was. So bought the hat, took the hat a month to get here because I was unaware that it's shipping from Australia. And... You know it's not my favorite like I wouldn't like let me show you I don't know it just it looks weird I really don't know how to wear it I don't know how to wear it I think it makes me look like I look like Pharrell I legit look like Pharrell with this hat on like it's not I think most people are wearing him like back like this and now I look like Dumba I don't want to admit that I just paid a hundred and something dollars for a hat that I'm not gonna wear but that that probably is seems to be seems to be the case so I say all that to say all just because a hat is more expensive doesn't mean it's going to fit differently because I get more wear out of my $20 hats like guys the tag is still on this hat I don't know what I'm gonna wear it I don't I don't know I don't I'm trying to find some inspiration for it I think the brim is just so wide like this is a, a pretty wide, but the brim on this is so wide the top is just it just doesn't fit it just doesn't fit I don't and I just, I don't have the patience to send this shit all the way back to Australia. So I don't, we're holding on to it, you know. But if I can find something to wear it in the wintertime, I will. But, you know, it is what it is. So this is my most expensive hat. So anywhere from $20 all the way up to $120. But like I said, I don't count the um, price as being good quality. Because sometimes, like, this is a good quality hat. It's nice and it's thick and you know nice firm up here it just doesn't fit it doesn't fit the way I thought it would fit and that that's that's on me so that's about the price point that you know my average is about so my average hat runs anywhere like I said besides the ones I get from Amazon if I'm buying it from um H&M or Zara or ASOS or Macy's or Nordstrom just wherever I'm buying it most of the time the price one's anywhere between 30 and 50 bucks and I'm okay with that like anything over 50 I'm like do I really 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 want it <laughs> um and at this point I think I've kind of handled the basic colors I now want to do like different patterns and different designs so um I've kind of got the basic colors out of the way so I know that if you go into like a design, it'll get a little bit more expensive. But if it's anything over than $50, I'm kind of side eyeing myself like, oh, do you really want it? And how many times can you like how many outfits can you really put together with that? Because if I'm, if I'm buying a, a hat, I'm immediately thinking of all the different ways that I can wear that hat. And if I can't immediately come up with like four or five different outfits, then I just don't get it. 
I've left uh, several hats. Um, like I, I love a burnt yellow one, but I don't wear my no. All right, up next, um, how I style my hats. So I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, but like I said before, and I'm hoping I'm popping up pictures so you guys can see them. Um, but a lot of times, like I said, I keep my style very simple. I keep my outfits very simple and simplistic and chic, and I let the hat be the star of the show. So a lot of times it's a lot of white tops and just a different kind of bottom and then the hat will just play it off so i don't do a lot of it i don't do a lot of busy so nothing is busy here because if it's just like if the top is busy and the bottom is busy and the hat is busy it's just like you're, you're too busy so i try to keep it like i said very simple very chic um i try to do neutral colors um and kind of just let the hat be the pop of color if you know if needed so like it's a white shirt i mean i have on black sweatpants but then i you know i'll probably throw on some jeans and then just let the hat kind of just be the star of the show so that's basically where or how i style them some people are different some people like to style them with you know printed and and leopard and all that kind of stuff and that's great but i normally don't do that if i am wearing like a leopard shirt or whatever then i'm keeping my hat very simple with like a black or something like that so me styling the my hats is just if i'm if i know i'm going to wear a hat it's let's keep everything else simple right let's keep the top simple the bottom simple of course i have on all the jewelry um so i'm accessorizing right so a hat is another form of an accessory so i'll keep my outfit plain and simple and then i'll just dress up uh, my accessories so that's basically the concept behind um how i style with it all right, up next is probably the most requested that I have ever gotten in the history of a hat section. Sis, what are you using to hang your hats? I use a combination of tacks. So when I mean tacks, I legit mean a tack. So that, you see that little red dot? That, uh, 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 that's a red, so it's legit a red tack. So I put the tack on the wall. And then I just hang it by the the front. Some of them you're okay to hang them by the front. Some of them the front's too heavy and you have to hang it by the back. So it just depends. If it falls off, then you know you need to hang it from the back. Most of mine I hang from the front. So that's how that's sitting up there. Really, really nice. Nothing, um, nothing too fancy. For my thicker ones, so like this one um, and then the one above that is a little heavier. I use small command hooks and they're the ones that have like the hook that actually hook out. I'll make sure that I link it in my description box. Um, and so I have a couple of ones that are hanging up here by command hooks just because they're a little either too heavy or the front doesn't really have something that you can hang on to it with. So that's what I use. I've been only been able to find them lately online. I haven't been able to find them in my store. So I will definitely make sure that I link those for you. And I just keep them. I just keep a pack of them um, in my house in case, you know, I buy another hat because I don't think I have any intentions on stop buying hats. But yeah, so tacks and small command hooks. And if you're wondering which hook the link in my bio will have the exact hooks that I use to do that. And I like using command hooks because I um, like to rearrange my hats depending on my mood. So they'll go from monochrome to just whatever. And I like being able to just easily remove the hook without it having to strip the paint off of my wall. So, all right. So guys, I think that is it. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I asked every question that I think I've ever been asked in terms of my fedora obsession slash hat wall um like i said i'm going to put the amazon link um of where i get most of my amazon hats i'm going to also put a blog post i did a blog several months ago about everywhere that i legit have gone to shop for a hat um i just check those places periodically if i'm in the mood to buy a hat there are like four or five different websites that i'll log on check and see what they got oh they don't have much and just so i keep going um, so I'll also link that blog post so you guys can check that out. And then I'm also definitely going to link the command hooks that I use to hang my hats. And then if you guys want me to hook to, to, to link the, the tags, they're just regular tags, but, um, I'll link those four different items for you guys. So you guys can, you know, have a great wall hat collection like myself. <laughs> like I said, hats are definitely something that I'm kind of low key obsessed over. 
and I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you've gotten this far and you have not subscribed, please just hit the subscribe button. Um, don't forget to check out all of my other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.